What's up ladies and gents and welcome to week 80 for League of Legends top 5 plays. This week features clips that range from superb timing to an expertise in the champion selected so glue your eyes to the screen because you won't want to miss a second of this. Coming in at our number 5 play we have Zekin on Ezreal and he has come to contest Dragon in mid pole. He quickly arcane shifts away avoiding the knockup as he cuts back sniping out Skarn and then running back a bit more to gain some distance and following it up with a W and Q for the double. Immediately after he runs towards Dragon and Draven retreats but then he starts up True Shot Barrage lining it up and hitting Dragon and Draven grabbing the triple kill and allowing for the easy Dragon to follow. With this Dragon and triple kill he started the comeback for his team after being behind in goal to start. Well done. At her number 4 spot, we have not even close X on Bane, and she's in a tough spot trying to defend against 4, and we see Janna moving behind her for the monsoon, but she quickly tumbles, avoiding the knockback straight into the enemy team, and with her alt up, she looks for a target. Seeing Grog is coming in, she condemns him into the wall and quickly grabs a kill, and then tumbles into stealth, and then deals damage to Janna, and then swaps the Graves as the tower helps her out, and she cues again, and while stealth, she flashes towards Graves, juking out Karma while bringing him down. She finishes off Janna, and then thinks about going in for Karma, but decides to back off in an incredible 3 for 0 exchange, thanks to a well-mastered champion. Coming in our third place spot for this week is Wong Man Seiyu on support Morgana. And at the start of this play, we see her swinging around River and leading it with a Dark Binding onto Ezreal, followed by Tormented Soil as Blitzcrank stops Kenneth from going in. Ezreal runs away and then he realizes he isn't safe, so he flashes way out of range and Blitzcrank stays in her face. So when Kenneth stuns him, she decides what the heck and throws out her Dark Binding onto Blitzcrank with her W. And then all of it gets chained up with a Kenneth ultimate, dropping him very low, but he manages to run away to the tower and lands a nice pull before going down. They fight it out with Ezreal, but the Arcane Shift dodges his Q, causing Kenneth to fall but allowing for the double kill. Morgana runs away after making it to the brush safe and sound, I think? All of a sudden we see Nautilus as he goes for the goal with a flash hook, but with no shield up he lands the root, and then she lands a nice binding and walks away safe and sound on the tower with her shield up. Out of nowhere Nautilus comes back and leads in with his ultimate, but at the last second she spell shields to knock him and lands an amazing binding followed by her ultimate as she runs around a bit until the follow up song comes and she picks up the 3 for 1 exchange, all thanks to the perfect snares and timing. Very well played. Scoring in at second place is GF Fat Pig on Kennen, and right off the bat we see a mini team fight ensue as he turns around with his ultimate up in Zon, he's allowing for the kills on Vayne, Poppy, and then Fiora, allowing his partner GF Fat Frog a double and the friendly Darius a kill. Afterwards they choose to head the dragon, and once they get there they realize it's gone, but something else catches their eye. A wild Twitch entering their jungle, so a ping goes out and they all run to scout for him. But all of a sudden Kennen lands a shuriken on Twitch, and he follows it up with an electrical search so he can see where he's headed. He then lightning rushes using some prediction skills, and then tosses out another Q, again hitting him. So he runs for a bit, and when the trail seems to be running cold, he decides to go for it with the lightning rush and walks right over the twitch picking up the kill with some fantastic predictions and for our number one pro play for this week we have zero ching on twisted fate and at the start of this play we see a gold card on the alistar followed by a wild card hitting all three players as he backs off after being silenced by chogath after the silence, he makes his way back to the fight and gets a mini silence by blitzcrank but then he pulls out another gold card onto alistar and launches out his q again devastating the enemy team he turns around to kill Alistar with his proc from the E, and then he stays back waiting for his W to come up, and then he pulls out another gold card, landing it on Cho'Gath and killing him for the double. With no health and 3 chasing, he cuts it back around the brush and towards mid tower, turning on his way to shoot out a random wild cards, which picks up the triple from Vlad. With his gold card ready, he turns on Vayne, stunning her as she condemns, saving his life, and then he goes back in with a shield and Qs for the quad, and finally, he pulls out another quick gold card for the Penta. His accuracy and speed, as well as his positioning of his character and wild card, show off the power of TF in the right hands. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Super Slam and Amumu with the craziest start to any game, all thanks to his W. As the clip plays, I just wanted to say thanks for all the support we constantly get from our fans. You guys are the greatest. And I also wanted to say make sure you head over to Potato Monster Daily and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any action as we launch our channel very shortly. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. Double kill. An ally has been slain.